Hello guys! I've already created a few different videos about improving skin tones and skin texture in DaVinci Resolve. I will leave you a few links below this video, so have a look if you are interested in exploring different techniques. But today I wanted to show you, in my opinion, one of the best ways of improving skin tones and skin texture in DaVinci Resolve that gives very natural results. I'll be using a tool called Texture Pop, and unfortunately, this tool is not available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But even if you don't have the studio version, I would still recommend you to watch this video because you can see how it works. And also, I will give you a few tips on what you can do when you don't have the studio version. This is before and after. I hope you like it. Let's start. And this is our clip for today. I got it from Artgrid and I have just quickly color corrected it to save some time. I've just adjusted the contrast and the exposure. This is before and after. And now I'll maybe show you quickly what you can do and what would I do if I didn't have the studio version of Resolve. So I would basically use the Midtones Details slider over here. So let's hit Option S and let's create another serial node and let's call it Midtones Details. And now let's just push the slider to the left to reduce the midtones details. And when we go too far, we can see that the image gets too blurry and it looks unnatural. This is before and after. So the key here is to reduce it just a little bit. So I'll go back here to minus 24. And this is before and after. Looks way better. And also if we don't want to affect the background, we can use the qualifier over here and we can select only the skin tones. And let's turn the highlight on to be able to see what we are doing. And here, just to show you, I will quickly use my sliders to select only the skin. And I will blur and denoise the selection. Okay. And now I will actually increase midtones details again. So you can see it clearly on YouTube how the effect actually works. And when we zoom in, we can tell that it evens out the skin tones by blurring them. And it also looks a little bit like an added glow. This is before and after. So it also depends on what you are looking for, but I would really recommend you not to exaggerate it and keep the skin as natural as possible. Okay, so now I will disable this node and we can move to the texture pop. So I will create another serial node and I will call it texture pop. And now I have to look for this effect in the Effects tab. Then I'll just drop it onto my node. And here, right away, I will change the operating mode from Simple to Advanced. As the Simple mode would basically give us a very similar result as Midtones Detail Slider. So let's use the Advanced mode. And the Texture Pop is basically a softening and sharpening tool, but based on frequencies. So we can choose which exact area we want to be affected. It basically gives us far more control than Midtones Details control, for example. And here we have all of these different frequency bands. So play around with them. So you can see what exact areas you'll be affecting. It all depends on your clip. But for the skin tones, I usually use the Strength and then rough and coarse sliders. So when I push the rough slider up and coarse as well, I am adding more sharpness and contrast to the clip. And this is before and after, but we want to do the opposite, right? So let me undo it. And now I'll push the rough slider to the left. And now I can also increase or decrease the strength here. And this is before and after. And basically the difference between Midtones Details and the Texture Pop is that the Texture Pop modifies the texture of the skin by manipulating contrast without that artificial softening that Midtones Details Control has. So the result is very natural. This is before and after. So now let's just see the final result full screen. Thank you so much for watching my videos guys, I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.